Let's get back in the kitchen this morning with Marie Feebach. She's the founder of Feed Your Family Tonight, always helping us out with dinner or breakfast options or sometimes just delicious snacks that I'm supposed to try at the end of the segment, but I'm already <laughs> almost done with mine this morning. <laughs> in the commercial break, we couldn't wait. Marie, what are you whipping up today? Today we're making my oatmeal chocolate chip bars. This is an old standby recipe that I've made for years and I just love it. It's fun and it kind of we're getting ready for back to school. It's a good little lunchbox thing. I've started here creaming one cup butter, one cup brown sugar and a half a cup of sugar and you want to mix that well and to that I'm going to add two eggs and then a tablespoon of milk and a tablespoon of vanilla and what that milk and that large amount of vanilla does is it makes it kind of cakey. So I'm gonna mix this while I talk about this. This bar is more of a cakey than a cookie. And so the milk makes it kind of extra fluffy. If you've ever had cakey brownies, that's how, that's how that works. So you mix the liquid ingredients in and then you add one and three fourths cups flour. And again, Shane, you know I like that white whole wheat flour and then a half a teaspoon of just table salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna mix those just a little bit with the mixer here. That's gonna blend together and it's going to make the base for this really yummy bar. Once you have the flour mixed in, we're going to add old fashioned oats. And that's again, just regular oatmeal this is two and a half cups of oats, and you're going to add one bag of chocolate chips. Now, I happen to accidentally grab mini chocolate chips rather than the big ones when I bought these in the store, and mini work great, regular chocolate chips work great. You could even do it with a butterscotch chip, Ooh. and it's really good. So I'm gonna mix this one last time. Very versatile. I'm thinking of all the other different kind of toppings you could kind of add in there. If oh, you make it kind of fruity, like a cranberry, maybe. It or? would be really good with white chocolate chips and some craisins. Oh yeah. Um, it would also be good if you like nuts. It would be good to add nuts to this. I tend to not add nuts to this particular one, but I'm not afraid of putting nuts in cookies. Are you a fan of nuts and cookies? Uh, yes. I'm a fan of everything. Absolutely. You're a fan of everything. Food related, <laughs> especially these. I'm <laughs> Taking my last bite here in just a second. Oh, that's so fun. Seriously, it is so good and definitely versatile. Great point. Right, it's versatile. Now, you're going to put this into a 9 by 13 pan and it's ungreased. So often you would think you might want to grease it. You want this ungreased because it's going to cling to the sides and get that really good crusty edge like a good brownie mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. And you also want to um, bake it at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes. They're gonna puff up and get really brown and craggy on top, and that's how you want them. You don't wanna underbake these. They can get a little soupy in the middle if you underbake them. And you're just gonna push this all the way to the edges of your 9 by 13 pan and bake it for 30 to 35 minutes at 375. So you liked it? I absolutely <laughs> love it. I've got one morsel <laughs> left here, but I, I ran a, a check on my, my little Fitness Pal app it says like a packaged one, if you were to buy it out of a box or something, it's about 200 to 300 calories in there. That's probably what we're working with here. Definitely uh, delicious because it tastes like a chocolate chip cookie and it's, it's filling too. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you consider this more of a dessert, a snack, something that you could grab for breakfast? What do you do in your house? Uh, this is dessert in our house. There's mm -hmm. a little too much sugar than for me to call it breakfast at our house. But you know, you could fake it and call it a breakfast if you'd like. <laughs> I do like them. They're really, because they're kind of square, they pack really well. I like to put them in lunch boxes. And as we're getting ready for back to school here, it's kind of a nice little fun lunch box treat. I like to serve them warm, but they will last up to three days in an airtight container. And so that kind of tells you a little bit about how they last. And in they my home, need to last. no, they won't last long. <laughs> <laughs> they won't last long. All right. But if you'd like the recipe, it's up on my website at feedyourfamilytonight.com. And if you ever have questions, please join the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group. Go to facebook.com slash feedyourfamilytonight. I'm always in there posting recipes and I love to hear your questions as well. We're gonna be starting a fun series in August that has been sparked by a viewer. So we wanna keep that coming.
as we move closer to the school year too, on your Facebook group, there's a lot of activity when it comes to the menus and planning. Uh, you offer a lot of advice in there when people are saying, I've got to start kind of preparing for that school year and getting into that routine. You're helping a lot with that. Well, that's just it. Feed Your Family Tonight was really originally started to help busy families get weeknight dinner on the table. And when you learn how to meal plan by starting with your activities rather than starting with your menu items, you're going to be so much more successful at night. That's what my planner is all about. That's available on the website and the cookbook's always on my website or at Watermark Books and Cafe. All right, Marie, thank you so much. Uh, very well done. This is absolutely delicious and something to check out. So uh, I'll ask you what my daughter asks me all the time. Can I lick the bowl when we're done? I won't tell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's what's coming up next on Good Morning America.